right, we are shooting the video that John forgets to shoot. Hey, John, let's take a look and see what we have so that next year we can remember. All right, from this view, we're set up down in the corner this year. Uh, I tried to set up the rack as best I could. I actually added the extra wing. We added extra mics. I'll catch that from the front. Um, so we have the X32 in there using the X-Touch with the iPad. We have the Snake, uh, the SD8 here up front for the inputs. Get the computer on the stand. We have the JDI for Megaseg and then three DIs in stereo for John's stuff. We have the ATEM studio and then another one so that we can send to the hallway, I think is what we're doing with that. We've got the Q. And we get the antennas. Um, here's a look at the room. They have new projectors this year, so the room is pretty full. All right, from this view, uh, that down there, that's just the antennas where they, uh, the, the case where the antennas go in. So, um, let's see if I can change the light on this. Uh, transmitters going here, X32. We have one, two, three, four dual ULXD, two singles. We have the Axiant. So we're running eight handhelds and six uh, body packs. Five of them are headsets, and one of them I have set up for an iPad if we need it. Uh, for DCAs, I have Jim and Tommy. I have all seven handhelds. I have headset two, three, and four, and then Megaseg QLab, and then both video one and two on this. Uh, we've got Workbench, we got Megaseg. John is running Show Express, and then he has his machines. Um, there's four truss with movers on top. There's two movers under the video screen. And we are running, I think actually 14 of the Skybox. 10 of them on stage. And actually maybe, uh, yeah, there's, I think there's 10 or 12 on stage and then one in each of the back truss. So maybe we're only running, we're only running 12 lights. Maybe, 12 or 14. And there you go. All right, let's take a look at some wireless. This is gonna be one of my main duties. Uh, from my new iPhone 11 Pro, I get the wide view, which is gonna help us out here because I'm about a foot away from this. So we're running 14 wireless mics. This is a little crazy. So handheld number one is for the owners of the company, Jim and Tommy. Um, usually we have three Q&A mics, but um, the, the show has a lot of interviews on stage. So we have four extra mics that are gonna get passed around quite a bit. Now I also have five uh, body packs with headsets, so I got four up here, I got a fifth one down here, and there's a sixth body pack, which has a Kenny cable on it, and so that way, um, every year there seems to be an iPad that needs uh, sound or something like that, and um, that way, wherever they are in the room, I can get sound from them. Running an X32 rack, so all the mics are plugged into that, including uh, VOG, so if you wanna include that, there's 14 wireless and then uh, one wired mic. We're running four ULXD duels, two singles, and then the Axiant Quad. Um, so with the X32, I'm controlling it with the iPad. So I have uh, Jim and Tommy's handheld. I have uh, the five headsets. Then I start getting into the handhelds, the iPads at the end, and then the VOG. Now, on a third layer, channel 17 through 24, I actually have music playback. I have John's Q Lab, and then I have two video computers. And that's because the SD8 stage box we have up here for the extra inputs. Now, because there's so much going on, I'm running DCAs. So I have quick, simple control. And that's also uh, linked to my X-Touch. So fader number one is Jim and Tommy's mic. Fader number two is actually all seven handhelds besides Jim and Tommy's mic. Headset two, three, and four uh, are used for our presenters. So I have control over those. And then Megaseg, which is my music playback, 
QLab, and then both video are on one. Um, I'm going to be monitoring the microphones on workbench. In fact, if I turn one on, let's see if I can reach and turn one on. Now I can see that that happens to be a ULXD on uh, channel number six. So I can take a look and see quickly if there's any, I don't know, any issues, anything going on, or at the very least what the battery life is on these. All the batteries that we're using are the uh, Shure uh, rechargeables. So I don't have to be swapping any batteries out. That's what this tray actually is. Um, all eight handheld are charging at the moment. Uh, and they're all good. That's what the green means. Uh, besides that, sorry for the mess. Uh, we have a Show Express uh, interface. John's gonna be running uh, the lighting this year. And, um, and then here we have his three video playback machines. Uh, let's take a look at the room. All right, let's take a look here up at the stage end. John has two geysers. These actually like, shoot a vertical column of fog. We'll use that for the intro, it's really cool. Uh, there's two subs. Now obviously just one geyser here and one sub here, and we get that on the other side. Um, we're using my up lights. Uh, I mentioned that in the other video. I forget if it's 12 or 14 of them. The truss and the moving heads uh, were for a rental company. Same with their uh, confidence monitors, these large TVs. That way the person up here presenting on one screen, they can see what everyone else sees on the video and the other screen will be like their next slide so they can't anticipate what they're gonna talk about. Uh, usually we have something that looks like an ESPN desk or an NFL football desk. This one's a pretty basic one, which is totally fine. But um, the, the, this show is, it's like a lot of interviews. They'll bring folks up from different departments and then it's kind of a state of the union address on what's going on in their department. That way all of the uh, managers and everyone, they have all the latest, greatest information about uh, what's going on with their company. Um, the TVs are all installed. Video is installed. And like I said, so here's another sub. Here's the other geyser. Um, down here, um, actually for everything above the subs, we use the um, in-house system. So it's the ceiling speakers and it's also then those speakers above the stage. When, uh, when they had brought us in a few years ago, uh, initially they were trying to get their house system to sound better. And um, I don't wanna say it was complicated, but there was a lot of work to get this to sound like what they wanted to. So they ended up just bringing us in for their event. So we use as much as we can of what's existing of theirs, but we bring some subs, that way their videos have a lot of impact in bottom end. Uh, you can see in the back, there's also uh, Legos or, oops, sorry, these like stage lights. That way the people that are on stage um, are lit up and you don't need all the room lights on. Um, so that's about it. Once again, way back in the corner, that's our tech setup. And um, you got a couple hours and the show starts. And it's a three-day conference, three-day event. Awesome. I got to get back to work.